There is my battery retain holding tray. Um, it's almost done. What I got to do now is I'm going to take rubber hose and cover all of this all thread. I'm going to cover the all thread with rubber hose. And then I'm going to put a piece of wood across here. I, uh, uh, maybe a piece of steel. I don't know, but I'm trying to keep it as light as possible. So steel would be better, but heavier. So I got a decision to make. Either wood or steel there. And then on the front, I'm also going to put either wood or steel, and I'm going to put rubber over the all thread, and this is where it goes through the floor of the bed of the truck. That's how it's going to sit in the truck. That's why I chose these batteries. They are, um, they're not lead. They're not lead acid. They're a deep cycle. You can put them on their side. Um, you can put them upside down. It doesn't matter. You don't have to worry about it leaking. So this is how the battery sit. And then I'll have the rubber and a piece of metal or a piece of um, steel, one or the other. I don't know yet. Covering this and covering the bottom. So any rocks that I kick, kick up won't hit this and mess up my batteries. But there it is. What I decided I'm going to do is I'm going to take the nuts up to the top like this, and then I'm going to weld them. I'm going to weld around each of these, so then I don't have to worry about these bolts, the nuts coming loose, and then I'll just drop it down through the floor. Okay, so there they are. Tops welded. Well, I just realized that I messed up. I didn't realize that I didn't have the, that squared when I marked it. If I would have had it squared when I marked it, I might have been able to get away with not having this piece of angle and just use the side pieces of angle and the back piece because So I needed to, uh, my bolt to go in between these holes, right? So rather than drill a hole um, and have the drill walk or anything like that, what I did is I took the grinder and just cut out the space in between. And that's what I ended up with. Started like that, ended like that. So the welded nuts are now on the outside instead of on the inside. And this will be, this is the bottom. This is still gonna be the bottom. But I'm going to put this together, put the hose back on top, set the batteries in, and then the rest of the frame I'm gonna set on top. And then I'll just set this whole thing on top of the jack and jack it into place and just align these into the holes that I drilled in the floor and nut it from the inside instead of putting the nuts on the outside at the bottom. I think that's gonna prove to be a whole lot easier. Then that way I can also hook the batteries up to each other and just run my leads off or leave it to where I could just hook it up a lot more easy as opposed to hooking it all up underneath the van, uh, underneath the truck, um, and doing it that way. So I All right, and there are the batteries put in, hanging down a little bit. My insulation on my all thread, bolted up through the floor. Uh, I just got to hook them up now. I just got them in. And from the side, I don't know how well you can see that, but that is the edge of the, the bed there. And it just barely hangs down 
a little bit lower than that spare tire does. So maybe a couple inches lower than the spare tire and a couple inches lower than the edge of the bed there. See that? That's how much lower it is. Not much. Hopefully it's still high enough to where if, even if I go through like a low um, trench or ditch or anything that it won't scrape these batteries and I put it so that the positives are on the bottom and so I shouldn't have to worry about anything negatives are at the top I did put a cable on there but yeah there it is I'm gonna go inside and tighten it up a little bit more but it's pretty steady pretty firm in here don't move shakes the whole van when I shake it yeah